usually I'm in my kitchen cooking, but this year, every now and then, I'm going to take you to places that really inspire me to cook. Today we're at Prospect, where I've lived all of my life. And you know, when it comes to food, I don't think there's any place quite like Prospect Road. That's because of the variety. You'll find Greek, Italian and Vietnamese enclaves in other suburbs, but Prospect and Kilburn seem to be an amazing melting pot of different cultures from practically every continent. Many refugee families from Africa, China and the Middle East have settled in this area. Their food often calls for items not stocked in regular supermarkets, so small shops like these help to fill the gap. A regular stop for me is Vatan. It's three shops in one. The Halal Butcher stocks a great selection of fresh South Australian meat and there's always something interesting to discover on the supermarket shelves. And depending on what time of the day you come, you might be just lucky enough to see how they put this terrific South Australian flour to very good use. Ali Jafar was a baker in Afghanistan. Most days you'll find him working on his speciality, a wonderful tandoori oven baked bread. So Ali, how many of these do you make every day? Uh, the 150, 150, maybe 200. 200 on a busy day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, busy, yeah. <laughs> Already it's starting to bubble along the sides. This bread is so simple. Flour, water, yeast, a little bit of salt, plus the wheat husks. And the result is this fabulous chewy bread which is just wonderful for dipping into yogurt, making into a wrap or mopping up sauces. Oh, fresh from the oven, it's just perfect. Supermarkets like this are an Aladdin's cave for food lovers. I just love wandering the shelves to see what I can find. Hamid, the manager, started the business seven years ago when this strip was practically abandoned. Now, there is, you cannot find any empty shops. It's really vibrant, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, completely mm. full and everything's here. You can find it. It's a very busy area at the moment. Mm. Yeah. And people come from far away to come here or is it mostly the locals? No, no. We got a customer from far away, from Port Augusta, from Mejura, oh, <laughs> from the other side of the city. Apart from Ali's wonderful bakery, this is my other favourite corner. It's a treasure trove of really healthy snacks, fruits, nuts, Wonderful things for you to put into a bowl, leave it on the counter, and before long it's all gone. You know what? It's worth a trip down Prospect Road just to try them out. Save some money and buy rice in bulk. Jasmine for Asian dishes, basmati for Indian, and if you're cooking Middle Eastern, you'll need cellar. And no, I haven't forgotten those people who like a recipe every week. Using this wonderful rice, I've got a recipe that you can download from our website for Persian rice pilau, and you'll see for yourself how beautifully this rice cooks up. The recipe needs a good stock, so grab a lamb or beef hock from the freezer, add spices and exotics like these dried limes, and you'll have a stock like no other. With the shopping all done, it's time to relax with a cup of Afghani tea and a sweet or two. Now, next time you see me, I promise I'll be back in the kitchen cooking for you. But in the meantime, look for more of my recipes in SA Life magazine. Thanks for joining us today. Now, we won't be back next week because of the footy, but we will be back the week after, which is Easter Sunday. Now, we've had so many phone calls and emails about Grant's Life and Time segments. We've decided to put the very best together in a special program, so I do hope you'll join us for that. In the meantime, do keep an eye out for the March edition of SA Life magazine. I'll see you soon. Seen it on SA Life? Go find it in your own backyard. SouthAustralia.com